Yo, yo, my funky fans, I'm Oakley. Welcome back. Let's play Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time we got all the green stars in World 3, and today we're going to be getting all the green stars in World 4, starting off with Super Massive Galaxy. So, yeah, I'll meet you at the first grand star. Let's do it. Alright, so the first green star is actually in a pretty creative spot. Basically, you just have to do a triple jump to it, but, uh, so basically where it is is it's, um, way up there, and the idea is you have to triple jump off the coin when it's at the, um, perfect, um, like, basically when it's, like, kind of out. So yeah, you kind of need good timing, so let's see if I can do it. Basically, you just want to do one, two, three, and got it. Alright, yeah, there we go. I mean, it's not too bad, but I do think that's a really cool, like, location to put it in. So yeah, personally, I just think that's a really cool idea for a grand star, I guess. Alright, so the next green star is uh, right over here. It's basically, like, underneath this platform right here. Uh, and the idea is you just kind of want to do a quick this and... Okay, and that was not even close, I think. I think my idea is I was way too far, and I think it's actually really close to the outside. Let, let's try it from, like, right here. Um, okay, wow, that barely grabbed it. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe you can just kind of slide down uh, and then, like, shake at the very end, but that was kind of risky. Anyways, that's where the second green star is. All right, and the last green star is right here on this planet. Basically, the easiest way to grab is once again to um, okay maybe triple jumps don't work I think the idea is that you're so okay I'm just like inside this guy aren't I um I'd like to get okay uh, okay that's fine because I think the idea is we actually want to bounce off this guy and do um okay how do I want to do this I think the idea is you uh, maybe I have to like bounce off his okay talk touching his head apparently kills you that's interesting now let's try this again can I not just like triple jump into it um Okay, I feel like I can, it's just kind of like awkward given like the fact that it's kind of like on that slope. And I think the intended way is you have to like do like a big bounce off like... Okay, so I can like... Got like a big bounce um, once. Okay, I'm not really sure how... What the intended way to do this is. Um, Okay, so I can't... I feel like I can't jump on this thing's head. Uh, wait, can I? Okay, no, you cannot do that in any circumstance. Alright, let's, let's just go around again. So... Let's see, can I... am I actually getting like a... Maybe I never got like a big jump, I think... I think... okay, so... If you like, hold A at some time, uh, it works. Okay, I don't think this is the easiest way. I'm gonna try and just do a triple jump, so let me clear these things out of the way first. Alright, I got it. I'm really not sure what the intended way is, I think... Maybe there's some way to bounce off the Koopas to get it, because that would make more sense. Or maybe it's just supposed to be a typical triple jump, I'm not really sure. Anyways, uh, I will say one thing to keep in mind is um, the only way to get rid of the drill is to get hit. So, like, you can only kill two of the three Koopas, cause, since you need the last one to take damage and uh, get rid of the drill. Anyways, those are all the green stars in Supermassive Galaxy. And next up is Flipsville Galaxy. Oh, nice, I got the shortcut again. Uh, anyways, uh, the green star is right over here on this side. Just kind of, like, fall off and grab it like that. Anyways, there we go. Not too difficult. And yeah, it's, uh, I think I showed off that a triple jump shortcut in, like, an earlier video, but there it is again. Alright, so the next green star is over here on this planet. You probably saw it. It's up over there. Let's just wait for the chomp to go by, and then we can get through this. So the idea is that you basically just want to um, do some wall kicks and uh, yeah, as soon as I saw that I realized I had timed that poorly but uh, no big deal. Okay, get out of here. And uh, yeah, the idea is basically we're just kind of going to come up like this. Uh, I think you kind of have to do like... S Actually, I probably don't need to use the other wall at all. I can probably just do this, right? Okay, maybe not. Uh, okay, I might like just really like far off where it is. I think it's like maybe more over here. Okay, like I'm pretty sure you can't get like, yeah, you can't get consistent height doing that it seems, so I think you have to um, basically just do it from one side and yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, so I actually thought that like the top of the building was like slanted so that you just fall off, but I guess you can stand on it, so okay, that's a lot easier than I was making it. Yeah, you can just um, backflip spin wall jump spin and there you go oh hey there's an easier way to do that that's like way easier than the other version anyways we actually have to go to the plan after this and I figured I'd show off an even cooler shortcut um 
Okay, yeah, it's over there. So you can basically Amexi skip the entirety of that plan over there with a nice long jump like this. And yeah, there we go. It's as easy as I actually forgot about that shortcut last time. Anyways, uh, the green star that we're going for is, um, I actually don't remember. It's somewhere, um, up there. Some. Okay, can I, like, even see it? Basically, the idea, this is actually one of the hardest green stars there is. You basically have to, um, ground pound through this, change the gravity, and then fall off in a very specific spot. So I figured before we begin that, I should at least see where I'm aiming. Okay, can I even, like, find this thing? Oh, okay, so it's on the other set of planets. I have to go through this first. Okay, uh, fair enough. Alright, so where is it if I'm looking here? Okay, so it's over there in that corner. So, okay, we have to fall for this. So yeah, basically, like I said, basically the idea with this one is that we have to basically switch the gravity like this and then just jump off. And yeah, this is basically one of the hardest ones. I really don't know where you're supposed to jump from. I think somewhere like maybe here or so. Um, dang it, yeah. Um, obviously there's no way to save yourself. You basically have to go for it. And if you miss, you die. So, uh, yeah, that's really great. Uh, let's try this again. I think I fell behind it last time, so maybe I have to be a little bit closer like this. Alright, let's try it, like, right here. Dang it, so close again. Okay, so I was in front of it that time. Good to know. Alright, like, maybe, like, here or so? Um, let's just try it like that. <sighs> still too- okay, so I think I was still in front of it, so I guess I have to, like, jump even further deep. Uh, let's try, th uh, this. Okay, nice, got it, yeah. So that one is definitely one of the hardest ones in the game, like I said. I mean, it's, I mean, it's really not, there's not much to it. It just, like I said, there's really no sort of, like, visual cue. You just kind of have to jump off until you get it. And, you know, if you miss, obviously you're just dead. There's no way to back it up. And there's really no easy way to do it either. But uh, anyways, yeah, that was it. That's the last green star in Flipsville. Uh, moving on. Alright, next up is Sweet Mystery Galaxy. Alright, so the first green star is right over there. The idea behind this one is you basically have to wait for the, um, bulb berry to run out, because I think this is actually over solid ground. So, um, let's see, did I time that? Why did I not get a flutter jump? Uh, you know, it also probably would have been smart to actually go over it. Yeah, the idea is that it's basically, like, somewhere around here. And yeah, the idea is you basically have to just wait out the clock. Um, I hope this is in the... Okay, I think this is, like, right over it. Um, and then you just fall into it like that. Yeah, I don't really know what I was doing that first attempt, but whatever. Anyways, uh, that's how you get it really easily. Alright, so the next um, uh, green star is basically on the path of the uh, Comet Metal, which I believe is over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, okay, here it is. Anyway, here's where the Comet Metal is, and the green star is just past that, right over there. Yeah, not really much to it. I mean, I'll, I guess the main thing probably especially with that green star is trying to find it since it is off screen and like you know most of the ground is bold berry only ground so yeah but if you know where it is it's just a flutter jump away anyways those are all the green stars in sweet mystery uh, and next up is honey hop all right so the first green star is uh, right behind this red balloon right here just pop it and uh, yeah grab it like that you could alternatively use the uh, fluffy bluff or whatever it's called but a uh, be mario works just fine as well What's up, Honey Queen? How are you doing? Uh, as you can see, uh, she still has the itchy spot, but she, but she also has a uh, little something else on her body, which is what we're going to be going for. Yeah, the uh, other green star is basically just right over here. You just want to climb on her and uh, right in front of her face. Yeah, that's where it is. Pretty interesting location. I do say so, my, say so myself. Anyways, uh, those are all the green stars in Honey Hop Galaxy. And Starshine Beach Galaxy is next. Alright, so the first green star is on top of this palm tree over here. First up, you can just uh, triple jump spin to Ghana. This is basically very similar to the one in um, Puzzle Plank, where the idea is you want to like jump onto the uh, question mark box and then uh, backflip uh, spin off of it, and, uh, and really high up on top of it is where the green star is. Alright, and the next green star is way over there. The idea is that we want to uh, basically use the dash pepper so we can jump off the water and then basically just um, time your jump at the uh, right height. Okay, that wasn't it. Uh, okay, where is this? Uh, okay, that was not well done. Yeah, you can really only do the big jump like once because you have to like be going at full speed. Okay, that's, that's fine. Let's just try it again. Let's try it again. I think this is actually a straighter shot. Alright, so just um, do that and then um, 
jump off, and dang it, I think you have to, like, dismount Yoshi, too. I think, alternatively, you can actually climb to the top of this, and then just jump off, but I think the Dash Pepper idea is a bit faster and overall better, but maybe it doesn't even work at all, who knows. Okay, there we go, finally got it. I will say, so, in order to do it with that strat, you want to do your Flutter Jump, like, way earlier than you think you need to, like, super early, because then when you dismount, you'll also be going forward, and that way, like, you'll gain enough height, because if you, like, Flutter Jump directly underneath, you'll, like, like, you don't get as much height if you, like, just try and stay still, as opposed to when you're moving horizontally as well, so yeah, you want to um, start pretty far back, the way I did it just there. Uh, and the third green star is basically way, way high up above, like, this section. The idea is you basically have to, like, orient this so that you can get, like, to the trampoline part, and then you still need to use, like, a bunch of, um, a bunch of, like, the clouds. So let's just, um, kind of, like, hit this. Um, you know what, that's probably good enough. I mean, I do have all of the clouds, and I don't think it's, like, that high up. It's, like, I mean, it's definitely, like, high up. You definitely need all the clouds, but I don't think you, like, you don't need to, like, orient it completely straight and then get a really good um bounce off the trampoline you basically just kind of have to get something and then you can you know backflip spin with three clouds to get the rest of the way up anyways uh, that is the last green star in that galaxy all right and next up is chomp works galaxy kind of forgot to introduce it but whatever all right so the first green star is on the um first planet as you can see over there it's basically the same idea as how you get like the one up i think i showed that off except you then Okay, so I guess you have to long jump and then spin. I thought a long jump was enough. I mean, I normally would have just spun out of habit, but it really looked like that was going to hit. Oh well. Oh my god, are you serious? That did not even look like it hit me. Alright, uh, okay, that's actually a safe spot right there where the 1-up is. Anyways, um, there we go. If you long jump and then spin, you will grab it. If you just long jump, you will be just short. Anyways, so that's how you do it. It is kind of difficult to get through the chomps, because just... I guess the main thing is if you accidentally hit a chomp, you'll pretty much guarantee to die. But other than that, it's not too bad. Alright, and the next green star is basically up here. I didn't know I showed how to get up like this, uh, and in the case that you forgot, I'll just do it again real quick. You can grab all the star bits that make the chomp, and then, there we go, that's where the second green star is. Another, I think that's a really cool location, you know, just because it's kind of like a hidden spot to begin with. Like, I definitely like, my favorite green stars are definitely the ones that are kind of in, like, the hidden spots that, you know, you aren't required to go to for any of the main power stars, but, like, then there's a green star there, so you need to go there eventually in order to completely beat the game. I think that's really cool. Alright, uh, and the last green star is way over here on the, um, final, um, planet. I think I can just... Okay, yeah, there we go. You can actually, like, kind of sneak up like this. And basically, it's way over here. And, uh, yeah, so I guess when I said that there was only, um, one s star in the entire game that required... Or that you even got to use the spring mushroom for, I guess I was technically wrong, since there's both one normal power star and then one green star which you need the spring mushroom to get or at the very least you have the spring mushroom available to you so there's two missions that being said i do believe that the boom mushroom actually has exactly one um total star since like all of the green stars are in the on the other path anyways uh those are all the green stars in champ works all right and last up is um bowser's gravity gauntlet let's do it Alright, we're coming up on the first green star, which I have to say, this is also one of my, like, definitely one of my favorite green stars. I just really love the location. It's basically over there on that, like, tower that just kind of sticking out of the lava. Because just once again, I think that's a really cool location, because obviously that's not, like, a place that you would ever go on the main path. And, I mean, you'd think that it's just for, like, decoration, you know, for, like, the whole tower aesthetic. You have, like, these towers sticking out of the lava, but they're actually is a green star on one of them. I think that's a really cool spot to put it. Alright, uh, now we're coming up on the second green star, which is basically um, just like in um, Puzzle Plank and more recently Star Sun Beats. It's basically right up here on top of this one. That being said, I have to recall correctly, this one is like really high up. Like, I mean, I made it look easy right there, but I'm pretty sure that it actually like either it completely isn't possible or is extremely precise to do that with Mario because it's actually a lot higher up than it may look and um, I mean with Luigi it's nothing Luigi jumps high enough that like basically any 
um, backflip uh, spin will do the trick, but I'm pretty sure if you do it with Mario, you have to be extremely precise. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. We got all of the green stars in uh, World 4, I believe. We can check just to make sure that is true. Okay, I did not press right there. I pressed... There we go. And uh, yeah, there we go. Everything in World 4 is done. And yeah, we're very close to the end. Only three more worlds to go through. 5, 6, and special. So anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for today. We got all of the green stars in World 4. And, today we'll, and uh, I mean, next time we'll be starting World 5 and getting the green stars there. So yeah, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, and take care.